FIA Championship Full Drive's main card continues with a catch weight belt, 75 kilograms. And for the blue corner, we're inviting to the ring a fighter from Ukraine, Eduard Korol. Ladies and gentlemen, at long last, this one 
underway at 75 kilos. This is FIA Championship full drive from Kishino, Moldova. Also from Moldova is Cornelio Lisi in the black trunks. Red tape around the bottom of his trunks and boy is he really throwing thunder and lightning in there. Look at the snap on the shots there of Lisi. Ukrainian changing up his stance there. Back and forth between Southpaw and Orthodox. <laughs> Cracking low kick on the outside of the left leg there of Lisi. Big swing and a miss there, and another one. You can see how much uh, Caroli is changing his stance, and I think it's really throwing uh, Lisi for a loop here. I've, see, I've noticed that a lot of times when, when people change their stances so often, as Lisi is doing, as he lost his balance there, actually losing his balance may be because of that changing stances all the time. It takes a lot of footwork and a lot of uh, agility to be able to do that. You can catch somebody when they're in the midst of changing and make them pay for it. And I've seen that happen a lot. And after, uh oh, there's a slip there. Oh, he caught him good on the chin. Caroli really found the chin good that time. He's really working the push kick good, too. Look at that. Every time he comes in the distance, he's hitting him with that push kick. <laughs> nice hook around the corner. Oh, boy. Caroli really finding the target here. Towards the end of round one. And that'll do it. Well, a bit of an awkward round one. It was a lot of movement by Edward Caroli, a lot of changing of his stance. And I'm not sure that Lisi was really prepared for that. It seemed like Lisi did have some kind of a game plan coming into this fight, but he had to do a lot of uh, adapting to that game plan, perhaps, Find once them. he saw how Second Caroli down. was behaving. Let's Second see what they down. come up with here Second in down. round number two. Second round, fight. And we are underway here, folks. Round number two at 75 kilos at FIA Championship. This bout and all bouts under kickboxing rules tonight. Whoa, and a big slip there. Went down fight. kind of awkwardly. And look at that, Caroli right on top of the situation. These two not holding much back here in round two, are they? Some nasty shots being thrown in there. The worst of them all have not really connected, but once they start to, it's going to be trouble for somebody. Whoa! 
Fight. Lisi got shoved there and almost got thrown out of the ring. Stop. These two expending a lot of energy in there, both these guys, Fight. and not really getting a whole lot as a result. Nice knee that time by the veteran. Pops him with a left hand. Can really see the experience of Caroli in this contest. Caught him with the left again. Oh boy. Wild swinging and miss that time. Oh boy. Oh! What a surprise back fist that was. Had his back completely turned to his opponent and took about even one or two steps with his back turned and then popped him with the back fist. Oh, what a shot. There's another good one. Maneuver. Nice left hand around the corner. Caroli stringing a couple together. The crowd like that one. But Caroli got in the last shot of the round. Well, what a bizarre fight this is. Uh, not a traditional kickboxing match in the least. The, you know, the traditional stance and style and movement of kickboxing is not on display in here in this one. It's, these two are playing a game of how can I surprise the other one more than they've surprised me. A couple exciting moments in that round there with those back fists between these two. Fighters, seconds out. Uh, let's see what round number three brings us here. Caroli comes right out at the bell. He may have jumped the gun even a little bit. Everything has been unusual and unexpected about this fight. I had to wait about five minutes for Caroli to even get out here. And then a lot of unorthodox kind of maneuvers and stances in the ring and unexpected shots. Look at that, it was almost a hammer strike right there. Good body kick there by the Ukrainian. Finds the left hand. Oh, and a headbutt. I believe they clashed heads there. Nice right hand over the top. Oh, pops him twice with the right hand there, does the Ukrainian. Wild swing and a miss that time, falls into the ropes. This fight is all over the place. That one was in the back of the head. Another wild swing and a miss. Look at that. Caroli stopped and looked up at the big screen. I think he was looking to see how much time there is. And now puts him in a headlock. 
Way off the mark with those shots. Caroli always in constant movement, and just after he hits, he's, he tries to be in a completely different position. Still making Lisi miss. Coming up on 30 seconds now, remaining in the fight. Here's how low his hands are, way down below the belt line. Nails him good, though, with a right. Oh! Final seconds now. And this very unorthodox, unpredictable fight comes to a conclusion here after three rounds. Well, what a fun contest that was to watch. Certainly kept you on the edge of your seat the whole time. <laughs> well, so much movement here, so many unpredictable actions that have occurred in the ring. And uh, one of those fights where you can't blink or you'll miss something. Well, let's find out how the judges see this thing. I think this could be an unpredictable decision as well. All right, let's send it up to the ring and get the official word. All right, guys, you did a great job. Even the judges are not unanimous in this case. By split decision, two to one judges. The winner is Blue Corner, Eduard I guess it was worth the wait after all for Edward Caroli picks up the victory by split decision. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we move to the lightweight division. Stay right where you are.